All right, so you got a new router or changed your Wi-Fi password, and your Nest cameras are offline, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria, but that's okay. Resetting them is easier than you think. So what you'll need is your Nest camera, obviously, with its magnetic mounting plate. Uh, to take that off of the wall, you can remove the Nest camera first and then twist this off of the mounting bracket. We'll need your charging cable. We'll need the piece of paper that came with the camera that says save this QR code. If you don't have it, that's okay. Uh, still pretty easy to re-add it, all things considered. We're going to need a small tool like a pen or a paper clip. In my case, I'll be using a screwdriver. And then we'll also need your phone, of course. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and remove the camera off of the magnetic plate. We're going to look for that small button here on the back of the camera. Press and hold the button for 12 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it down. And what we're waiting for is the camera to make a jingle. Hopefully I'm on the button here. There it is. Make sure we hold it through that jingle. Go ahead and lift up. Reattach it. We're going to wait for this light to go off. There it goes. Going to attach the charging cable. And when the camera boots up, it's going to make another jingle. There we go. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and go into your Google Home app. You're going to tap the device that's offline. In my case, it's going to be the gaming layer camera. So uh, once we're on the page, I know it says 97%, but the camera's off because we just reset it. Yours will be off too. Go ahead and press the gear in the top right corner. We're going to press remove device at the bottom of the page. We're going to press remove and we're going to give it a second to refresh. This should completely go away. There it goes. And now we're going to go ahead and press the plus sign there in the top left corner. We're going to go ahead and press set up device. Set up device. There we go. We're going to press new device. Select the room that you want it in or the home that you want it in. I'm going to go ahead and press next. So it's going to look for the device for a second, but it's not going to find it because the device isn't connected to anything. So we're going to go ahead and press camera. Uh, you're going to select which camera you have. Uh, if you're watching this video, it's probably the first one, Nest Cam Outdoor Indoor Battery, but select whichever one you want. Now this is the part where this QR code comes in handy. But if you don't have it, go ahead and press continue without scanning. That's what I'm going to do. And we're going to go ahead and type in the setup code. So the setup code is located at the bottom of the camera, just above the charging cable. Just go ahead and type that in. So once that's typed in, you're going to press next. And everybody just saw my code, but I don't care. We're going to go ahead and press Nest Cam. Go ahead and press next. We're going to press continue. Uh, you're going to agree to this because you don't have a choice. Go ahead and press the down key, press next, press next. You're pretty much just going to press next on all these screens. Uh, go ahead and press next. Go ahead and press next. My camera is going to be in the indoors. Go ahead and press next. Yours is probably outdoors, but you know, select whichever one you want and it's going to be connecting. So pretty soon it's going to show you your Wi-Fi networks. And then where it says connect to Wi-Fi at the top of the screen, select the name of your home network. So I'll go ahead and select mine. Press next. I'm going to put in my password. Okay, then I'm going to press next. And if you have to pause the video, that's fine. But after you put in your password, you're going to see this screen that says connecting to Wi-Fi. All right, we heard the camera make a noise. And we need to select where we want the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the gaming layer. Press next, we're already, we're already getting notifications that it saw a person, so that's awesome. All right, 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and press next because it's just asking you to position the camera. Uh, mine, I'm using the magnet to mount it, so I'm going to select that option and press next. Uh, so mine, I'm going to say mine's already installed, but if you're reinstalling the camera somewhere else, go ahead and select whichever one you're installing it on. And then I'm going to go ahead and press next because it's already positioned. Now it's just going to tell you about how the camera works, so we'll press next, then next again. And then I'm going to turn off video recording because I don't need it. You might want to keep it on, especially if this is a, like for security. Go ahead and press next. I'm going to leave my microphone off. Again, you might want it on because that's how you talk down through the camera. So that's, you know, how you would talk to people that are standing in front of the camera. Go ahead and press next. Now it's going to ask you to set up a couple of different services. I'm going to say not now on both of them. So not now not now, and then finally, no thanks. Now, again, you can do whatever you would like. I'll press next on this screen here because it's gonna play a video. <laughs> but obviously, if you want those services like Nest Aware or whatever, uh, go ahead and set those up. All right, so you're all set. We're gonna press done, and it should be back. I'm just gonna make sure that uh, we can see it. There it is. So there's you guys. There on the camera, this is me, and I hope you have a wonderful day.